good. Oh my god. I think that we're going live now. Um, Liz, you're doing your hair. I am. It's important. <laughs> you're looking in the camera right now, aren't you? Sorry. Oh, hi. Was I not supposed to? I don't know. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, we're going live. I know. This is so <laughs> weird. Oh my god. This is really weird. <laughs> I'm being very and... recorded right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, in triplicate. <laughs> Like there's recorded in triplicate. Like there's like there's the top form, and then there's the carbon copy, and then there's the pink one, and then if we're at the DMV, there's also a green one, <laughs> like a yellow one. Which <laughs> that's more than triplicate, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> which which one am I? Oh no, you're definitely the top. Like I'm talking to you live, and oh, so like that. It's not that. It's I'm, not that. Don't worry about that. I'm just talking about oh, okay. all the different devices that are recording. You mean the fact that there's two things, three things recording us right now, yeah. all at the same time? Do you want to explain what's recording us right now? So what's happening is we have microphones in front of our mouths, which are recording oh, our voices. Shit. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, so there's a microphone here. Careful. Okay. Um, Careful. There's also a, a Facebook Live happening. <laughs> hi. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> and then behind that, <laughs> there's a phone standing on a tripod that's also recording us. Oh, Hi. <laughs> yeah, the phone is because um, they have this thing called uh, Instagram TV. <gasps> IGTV. Yeah. They're trying to bring back like TGIF, but they got the, the letters wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You're so funny. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. Good one. Um, so the phone records it the way that Instagram wants it. Cool. And then this is the way that it's supposed to be on Facebook. For Facebook. And also the YouTube. Also the YouTubes. Yeah, the YouTubes. That makes sense. Okay. And um, but the actual microphone that yes. matters most is this one. Is this one right here? The phallic one. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for those of you who were maybe watching on Instagram and Facebook, we were late getting we were. on here. We were. We had a taco-related emergency. As in we emergently needed to eat tacos. As in we emergently <laughs> needed to eat tacos. Uh, there is a wonderful place down the street uh, from my house, uh, because we are in the Vandal Lounge. For those of you who are watching, this is actually the Vandal Lounge. Uh, cool. We will put more pictures uh, on Twitter and Facebook and also Instagram for those of you who are just listening to the podcast. Mm -hmm. And by just, I mean, you listeners are the whole reason why we are here. Totally. Absolutely. All this extra video stuff yeah. is, I mean, it really is extra. It's <laughs> extra. Extra. Um. Like, it's, it's one of it's the, <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I guess we're still on video. Um, it's the first time we've done this. Yeah. But really. it's, it's important that we do this so that people can see how podcasting happens. <laughs> <laughs> or how it happens here. Yes, that's fair. Uh, everybody does it differently. Um... <laughs> Pun intended. So, um, but no, I think I think it's important that people see where you do it and how you do it and who you do it with and all the things. Whoa. What? Oh, wait, we're still talking about podcasts. We're still talking about okay. podcasts. Just wanted to be clear. Okay. Okay, hi. Mm. So, believe it or not, I, I kind of alluded to it on the 50th episode where I didn't even realize it was the 50th episode. Yeah. And then I was thinking about it and I literally texted you the minute I realized that this would be the one year show. Like, I was like, oh, wait, yeah. Well, 52 weeks in a year, and <laughs> we just had the 50th episode, then that means, oh my god, a year. <laughs> yeah. It's real. It's for real. It's for real. Really and, and the only people who've been around since the beginning are you and Tanner Campbell from Portland Pod. Correct. Um, and me. Yeah. <laughs> the, t the triumvirate that will not take down ancient Rome. Uh, we will, well, because we it's continue. not here. It's not here. <laughs> but also, I just mean, like, it won't be, it will, it will, I think we stand the test of time. And I think that's because it's not a one man, one person show. Uh, it's, it's a team of people. And it's a team of people that are in it and really committed and are reliable and. And also goofy. That's, that's a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not able to laugh while you're doing this if, kind of stuff, <laughs> you're not going to do it for very long. That's true. I'm making sure that it's actually recording our voices because mm. we didn't actually test that on the important recorder. <laughs> like, can you say something, Liz? Hi. It doesn't look like you're recording. Oh, for real. That's great. Can you make sure that this is plugged in? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy 
shit, dude. <laughs> yes, that is completely plugged in. I hurt myself on that one. It's really weird. Oh, it's because the gain is down. Here. Okay. okay. Can you say something? I'm saying stuff now. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now it's up. Emergency so, in podcast fix. Emergency podcast fix. That's why you got to pay attention to this stuff. So what we cool. have is, so I remember a year ago, we had a table set up over there, and we had all this computer equipment, <laughs> and, and all these microphones, and we had no idea what we were doing. I was, like, sitting, listening to the audio on headphones, but as it was happening, which has a slight delay, so it was like, I'm hearing things twice, what's going on? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> And it was hard. Yeah. We, we were trying to do it to the computer, and it was hard, and it didn't make any sense, and half the time it didn't sound right. No. <laughs> That's very true. Because <laughs> I know about computers, but I don't know anything about, like, audio and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So Tanner got on the scene, and so what we have in front of us now is a Zoom H6, Ooh. Um, and it plugs the microphones in. And then there's an SD card in there, and then I just take the audio off of the SD card and send it to him, and he does the magic. Magic audio. Magic audio, where he puts the intro on and the outro, and then we tell him the parts that we want to delete out, um, yep. and, which is usually this kind of jackassery at the beginning. <laughs> like, I'm really glad that we could do this for the, <laughs> for the Facebook. For the oh, face. oh, the Book of Face. The Book of Face. Um, I'm really glad that we could do this for the Facebook. And, you know, we're doing it on a Saturday, so, like, nobody's watching. No. It's well, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's the big problem here, is that it's a, the first sunny and not achingly cold day in Portland in at least a month. In at least a month. At least. I mean, so. I, I honestly didn't want to come back and do this. <laughs> the tacos have a strong pull. The tacos it's have true. a strong pull. That's true. The, the taco is strong with me. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not. It's nice. It's sunny. Mm -hmm. Everybody's outside, which means that we can do this Facebook Live, and nobody is watching or asking us any questions. So it's great. Too bad this will be living <laughs> on Facebook in perpetuity of us doing our jackassery. So, um, so it's good that Love everything's it. going according to per usual. Yeah, per usual, it's not going <laughs> like as usual. Things are not going as planned or as expected. Like you know, sort of like the whole. Uh, if you like make plans and then and expect something like you should expect different things as well because curveballs in life and stuff is this making any sense at all change is the only constant in life i think you're in tacoma oh i think i am in tacoma taco coma taco coma da da <laughs> on the, yeah, on the, <laughs> on the on the on the drive back from tacos liz declared tacoma a taco coma <laughs> It's also a city outside of Seattle, <laughs> for those of you who are not yeah. in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, that's it. The, the city of Tacoma is not named after Taco Coma, but I've declared it so because it makes the most sense to me in my Taco Coma <laughs> state. Way to glance at the camera. So, uh, break that third wall. <laughs> break it down. Just break the third wall. <laughs> so, so, um, for all, um, I guess, two listeners, maybe, who've listened since the very first episode, yeah. I mean, yeah. God bless you. Yeah. For well, reals. I like, mean, like you said, like, listeners are why this exists and why this needs to get out there so that people can listen to it. But, yeah, I, I love, I love diehard people, fans of any, like, I'm a diehard fan of stuff. Yeah. And, and I, I love that I, like, loyalty is, is an amazing quality, so... Well, and it's not only that, it's also that this show has gone through some pretty transformative times. Mm -hmm. It has changed a lot mm -hmm. since in a year. Mm -hmm. um, if you go all the way back to Meet the Third Paddle, um, <laughs> there are two hosts. Yeah. You had co-hosts. Yeah. Um, and Liz was producer Liz. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Liz, Liz wasn't, you know, rocking the mic back in the day. I was not. She it's was, true. She was not rocking the mic. Um, and it was more of a show about marketing and mm -hmm. specific tools around marketing. Yes. Um, and I will say that even after, cause I think we did that for about 12 episodes or so, mm -hmm. first 12 episodes yeah. were, were like that very tool oriented. Um, 
I'll be honest, after that amount of time, I was starting to run out of juice <laughs> around that. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, um, but not overly interesting. Yeah. Um, I do think that we will be bringing some of that back on occasion where sure. we have maybe a segment where we talk about tech a little bit or marketing tools. Um, but to have a whole show dominated to that, it was just, yeah, it was not as interesting. Well, and, and you have to think about like, uh, even things that you use on a daily basis, like, especially when you're running your own business, marketing and tech is a huge part of that and the tools, but like, unless you're going to nerd out on all of the tech stuff like what it all the features and what it does and how it compares to other things like unless you want to make that podcast yeah it was yeah. gonna it was gonna be hard to steam up and yeah hard then, to sustain yeah, and keep going keep going yeah, um yeah. and so what happened was i i went to chat collab which mm -hmm. always is like a very transformative experience hashtag chat collab <laughs> hashtag idaho <laughs> hashtag idaho she has to get that in every episode. Um, every episode. Of course, we are in the Vandal Lounge. <laughs> in beautiful southeast Portland, Oregon. Uh -huh. um, why the third paddle? Oh, no, I digress. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Okay. No. Uh, so I went to Chat Collab, mm -hmm. and um, Tim and Brian are yeah. fantastic. And I took the podcast stuff because it's something we can talk about. I was always behind on episodes. Yeah. And I knew I needed to do some while I was there, mm -hmm. um, not with the intention of interviewing people right. at Chat Collab. Um, and then it happened. And I realized after talking to Tim McCain and Brian Fowley how much I enjoyed interviewing mm -hmm. and how much I enjoyed the arc of following somebody's journey and somebody's tale mm -hmm. and um, relating it back to business or not. And um, because it's one thing to run a business. Mm -hmm. It's another thing where your life goes. And there's so many pieces to your life where, um, you need help or you get stuck. Um, and sometimes just hearing somebody else's journey helps you figure that out. Mm -hmm. And that became the show that could be sustained. Yeah. And absolutely. what happened was we started to drift a little bit further and a little bit further away from, um, tech tools and marketing tools and, um, at times even talking about business period. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and again, I want to say to anybody who's been listening for a year, um, it has to be just like, like a little bit of whiplash sometimes. <laughs> like what, <laughs> what's Jen going to put me through now? I thought this I, was a show about this thing. Yeah. Why is she talking about this other thing? But I'll say the reason why is, um, just this acknowledgement that, that we have lives. You can have a business, but then you have lives. And sometimes having a life is way <laughs> bigger yeah. than your business. And sometimes life gets in the way of business, and we have to talk about that too. Absolutely. And acknowledge that and strategize around that. And sometimes we just need to hear cool stories and not think about work at all. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's true. And uh, so if you've been listening to the show for 52 episodes, um, thank you. Yeah. Truly, thank you. Yeah. And I hope to hear from you. Email me at jen at thirdpaddle.com, and we will talk about your questions on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, we will answer your questions. I will email you back, but just reach out and let us know how you're doing. And if you've listened since the beginning, thanks again, because mm -hmm. this has been quite a ride. <laughs> She's very responsive. She, I'm very will, responsive. she will get back to you if you email her. I will get back to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Are you looking at both cameras? Look I don't at you. know. Like, look at you looking at all the cameras. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. <laughs> Channeling my Wayne. That's all. I, I, don't, I don't really know what's going on. Here. Wayne's World. Okay. Well, although he did, he did the one I opened when I like camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. But the, okay. See, this is what also happens. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Put, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> See if I can find that in the, on YouTube for the show notes. <laughs> oh, it's it's a it's, it's in a thing. Wayne's World too. Because yeah. there was a second movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Wayne's World too. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so, 
So when we started, we had this complicated system, and now it's super easy. Mm -hmm. um, but podcasting is not easy. No, no, it's not. <laughs> the reason why we had to have a taco emergency, <laughs> we, we planned a taco emergency um, before starting this podcast, is because uh, it's kind of a metaphor for podcasting. You have to fuel up. <laughs> you, yes. have, you have to refill your own cup in order to do this work. Um, you can't you can't shoot from the hip necessarily without being uh, you know, able to understand what you're talking about. Uh, to, you have to be creating content all the time. You have to be <laughs> at the ready, so to speak. Um, and tacos are required for that. Tacos are required. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to share everything about what it's like to do a podcast on Facebook Live. Should we keep talking about that? I think just maybe a smidge. Just a smidge? A smidge. Like, okay. like one thing. Like, what's one thing that it takes to keep a podcast going for a year or longer? Passion. Yeah. More than anything, you have to have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. uh, because nobody's thanking you. It's you're, it's a grind. Especially mm -hmm. when it's a weekly. This isn't a, a series. Yep. I am not telling a story. This isn't like serial where yeah. there's a, a definite arc. Mm -hmm. Uh so it's hard and yeah. it's a grind. And if you notice, we're recording on Saturday. <laughs> this is <laughs> off hours, Yep, definitely. you know, and extra. So you have to have that passion. You have to be willing to do it. Uh, podcasting is also not free. So yeah. you have to be, your passion has to also uh, fuel you enough to pay for something mm -hmm. to get it out there. Um, not only time, um, but also monetary mm -hmm. and so I would say more than anything, it's just got to be a passion about sharing not, excuse me. <laughs> She's so passionate. She's so passionate. I'm <laughs> choking up. No, actually I think it was a, maybe a little taco. <laughs> the taco needed to say hello little, folks. <laughs> a little taco. Uh, I think that, um, you, you, but you have to have a passion for the work and the grind and for sharing. And what people maybe don't know is I don't really like, talking to myself. Yeah. And some people love that. And so having a weekly podcast is maybe easier. Mm -hmm. Um, if that's not you, if you're more like me and like to talk to people, then it's, it's actually harder sometimes to find people to come and talk mm -hmm. and do it. Um, because I'm looking for more than just come on, sell your widget and yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's uh, a bajillion podcasts like there's that a bajillion there. podcasts <laughs> like that. <laughs> Because what we do is we we delve into stories and we talk about mm -hmm. um, we talk about more than that. Stop it! What? <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. I mean, that was that was funny. That was a really good joke. But I let's know. talk about it. I was extend I was extending the length of the joke by like. Panning to the camera and giving a face. <laughs> I think you have to turn the camera off because... <laughs> you think it's distracting Because you're a ham. <laughs> okay, fine. But you're not wrong. You, you, you do have to uh, be somebody who likes telling stories, even if it's just talking to yourself into a microphone. Um, to get back on point. <laughs> to get back on point. Oh, thanks, Liz, for just bringing it back. <laughs> So I, I, I apparently put the, the hitch in the giddy up, so I needed to bring it back to the gallop that we needed it to be. My metaphors I never know. land with Jen, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> she always gives me that look of like, what is Liz talking about right now? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> no, I just think it's really weird that like you're talking to me and looking away. <laughs> like... <laughs> I can't help it. So in addition to passion. Yes. You have to be dedicated to the content. Yes. And believe it or not, there are actually arcs to this. Yes. Like, I actually put a lot of effort into it. And you were talking about your show, too, mm -hmm. how, how you have arcs around what words you choose and how you go about um, planning out your content and who's mm -hmm. going to talk and, and how it works. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like things are just kind of being thrown together, but they're really not. No. And, and that's why the passion is is so key because you also have to have this dedication to, um, to the story, yeah. even if it's not a story that anybody else understands. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it seems, yeah, my podcast is called word of the week and it could seem like I'm just like plucking words out of thin air. 
um, but it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention and curating why that word is important for this week. Um, you know, I can't, it would be difficult for me as the creative person behind the podcast to like, oh, we're just going to switch these episodes around. Because that's, that's not what I've done. I've created, <laughs> I've created a basis for, for the story to be told. Um, so I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think you have to be um, dedicated to the story that's, that's getting told. And I think because of that, you have to be able to understand stories yourself, but also be, and be a bit of a, a storyteller, but also understand, you know, and, and curate which stories you're going to tell. You know, it's not yeah willy nilly. It's you're 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 being more selective about it. Well, and I think it's also, um, and this will be the last thing that we share. We probably will have to cut this off. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't know. Maybe yeah. because it's hard for me to talk to you when you're constantly like this. Well, see, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now that I just stopped. Now I, that you I was just only looking and at you, you look at me, and then I like, turn that. and panic. Yeah. Um, I so sort of I sort of get it. Yeah. You sort of get it because <laughs> you like to be the center of attention. I, not always, <laughs> but I, I grew up performing, so I, it's just right. in me. It's just in you. It's in me. Um, damn it. Now I lost what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> Such a jerk. Oh, no, you have to. I'm kidding. I don't I mean know, it. I know. Um, <laughs> so it also means telling people no. I can't tell you how many people yes. hit me up. Like, I mean, I get so many emails about people who want to be on the show and if it's not a good fit then like you have to be willing to tell people no mm -hmm. and you have to guard that content almost mm -hmm. like with your life yeah you know like because you have like a clock in your head about you know at least I do about how much sales I'm willing to involve the show with mm -hmm. about um who I'm going to be able to talk to and how it's going to work yeah and if there's enough um enough juice there you yeah. know like I need to be able like I can't talk to somebody who's super boring because it's really hard yeah <laughs> you know yeah um so so you have to you not only have to select people carefully you also have to be able to tell everybody no because a lot of people just want to have a I think they just want to have like a speaker sheet right they, they is maybe, that really what this is it's, like it's it's the it's the sort of it's the uh, for some reason podcasting has become like the, the glamorous side of marketing that people are doing now that it's like cool to be oh my on a god podcast. this is so glamorous right now <laughs> you know what I mean though <laughs> no like, I do but but that's yeah. but that's honestly why I laugh so hard at it when I, I read totally. these articles and I'm like are you kidding me with this right now <laughs> it's still really hard to do it's still really hard to do <laughs> and it's honestly just going to get harder now that um, Spotify bought up Anchor and Gimlet totally and that was a big one. It was a big one. And then Apple is shoring up some of their metadata and their RSS feeds and what they're taking mm -hmm. and not taking. This is all gearing it towards being a much more competitive market yep. and much harder for people like you and me mm -hmm. to compete with these really big dogs that are coming in. Yeah. The number one podcast creator is NPR. Yep. And I think that's going to change. I think it's going to become much more pop culture -y. Mm -hmm. um, radio is going to start creeping in a lot more and it makes it harder for the, um, the hashtag is Potter and family, which, which is what it means to be an independent podcaster. Yeah. Potter and family. So it's going to get harder for the Potter and family to hang together, yeah. uh, because they really are labors of love. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're not attached to like a big media conglomerate. We're not attached to a specific media sponsor. We're not on a podcast network that has other podcasts that we're also able to promote. Like it's, you know, the ad sponsorship isn't built in. It's, it's all where this really is a labor of love to your point about being passionate, being a, a high level curator, like, yeah. You know, and at the same time, it is about wanting to get a broader message out there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm in all these like podcast groups on Facebook and, <laughs> you know, it was so funny because people, people are always looking at their stats. Mm -hmm. We don't really know, you know, male to female, how much money, like the stats are very generic. Mm -hmm. um, but we know where people are from yeah. and we know how many, mm -hmm. and that's about all that I know. I think there are other ways of slicing and dicing, but 
I don't have time to create a SQL <laughs> database about podcast listeners, <laughs> you know. Um, but I can tell you that we are pretty close to 8,000 downloads at this point. Hey, now. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, pretty good for uh, no paid advertising. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of doing our thing. Yeah. Um, and people complain about their stats in these groups all the time, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, you know, so you kind of go down the wah, wah, kind of like path. But then somebody said something in one of the groups, and I was like, I'm just going to feel like that. That This is how I'm going to look at it from now on. Which was? Because I think the person was getting, like, 20 downloads a, a week, oh, right? Yeah. Like, it wasn't a lot. Yeah. But the person who commented, and it still sticks with me, was, yeah, but once a week, you have 20 people listening to you. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like, how, how often does that happen when you're just out yeah. You know, are you doing speaking engagements with 20 people That's every really, week? that's a really good point. And, and so instead of looking at it like, wah, wah, like yeah. now I look at it, I'm like, dude, crushing it. People are like listening and you're, downloading. You're and... having, yeah, it's like if you had a weekly in-person workshop. Right. A weekly event and 20 people are always showing up. Exactly. That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> right? Oh. Um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have more than that every week, but it's still just this idea that like, you know, it's a grind. So when it, when you're looking at it, you're like, oh, well, you know, if I wasn't doing this, then I could be doing X, Y, Z. Um, but it's also that, that people are tuning in and people are listening and people do care. So yeah. you have to constantly weigh those, those two things mm -hmm. and, and look at it from that regard. And so I always look at it as, Hey, you know, I've got, I've got a, a group of people. I mean, there are some people who I know, like, are listening a lot. You mm -hmm. know, there's Shannon in Newburgh. Hey, Shannon in Newburgh. Hey, Newberg. Shannon in Newburgh. There's this Tawana is... in New Jersey who, oh, my God, did you just look at the camera again? Well, but I thought we were doing a thing. Oh, we're like, doing hi, a thing? Tawana, oh, hi, in New Tawana in New Jersey. Hi. Hi. See, there was a purpose to my hand. I will be. I... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually going to be on Tawana's show. Um. In April, Tea Time Sweet. with Tawana. And as we're, she's interviewing me, she's like, oh, you have one of my favorite podcasts. I'm like, what? Mm. And like, my heart just like expanded, like, feel, like I just was mm. so filled with love because it was, yeah. I, I had this moment where I was like, what? And she was like, oh, you didn't know. I was like, no. <laughs> no one's ever told me that before. That's so great. You know? <gasps> like, I felt like that moment where um, maybe like Bugs Bunny, he kind of like gets all like embarrassed and there's like hard over. Oh head. yeah. You know what I mean? Like they make him blush a little make bit. Make him blush a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I thought it, <laughs> that's kind of how I felt. Um, and those are the reasons why you do it. Yep. Totally. Cause it's just amazing. Yep. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end the Facebook live now. If you have any questions or anything, uh, hit us up and we'll talk about it on another show. Definitely. And that's it. <laughs>